Today we're going to walk through how to do a restore of multiple VMs at one time, what we refer to as an instant mass restore. Now the first thing that has to happen is a protection job has to have been created to protect those VMs. You'll notice something here, we have quite a few already, including one called static desktops. Now this is taking care of the desktops that we have over in our vCenter under our demo workloads desktop. You'll notice we have a whole lot of desktops here already. Now, if we were to lose these desktops, we could restore them right back to the same location. But in this example, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to recover it to a new location. And we'll put it on the restores location. We select the recoveries, click on recover, and we click VM. Now, since we know it's a desktops, we can just put in the wildcard in our search window here. Now, that static desktop job is the one that we're looking to use. But before, we should verify, make sure it has the desktops in it that we're looking at. This will also allow us to change the different job and the different snapshot that we're pulling from. So I could go back in many different snapshots and decide to use that one. I'll go ahead and use this one that has all these desktops in it already. And I'll select that job, static desktops. Now I'm going to say continue. You notice we've already got set what it's called. We're going to recover it to a new location. So by doing that, I simply come in and select the vCenter. I'll select the resource pool where I want to put it. And you should have access to all of your different resource pools. I'll select a data store so I know what storage I want to put it onto. In this case, I want to put it onto one of our demo systems. And then you select the VM folder that you want it in. I'm going to go ahead and move it to demo restores. You'll notice when I showed you before, it was under demo workloads. Now, I definitely want to rename them. You don't have to do this, but in this scenario, we're going to rename them. And I'm going to add copy into the beginning of them. I'm also going to go ahead and detach the network so I don't have IP conflicts right now. And we'll go ahead and leave the recovered on. We don't want to power them off. We'll go ahead and power them on right away so you can see it. When we say finish, you'll notice we're starting this job. If I come back over to my vCenter, I can take a look at this and I see right away I'm creating these new virtual machines. I create under demo restores. It's first thing first, it's already creating a machine here for us. And another and another. As soon as these are on, these are actually powered on and accessible. Now the reason they're accessible is because we have them on storage that we've presented out. If I expand this out, I can see that I have this temporary NFS now. That's what I'm using to mount these while I'm doing the storage free motion to move everything over. As you can see, it's quickly restoring all of these VMs. When it's done, we'll have the entire desktop job recreated under demo restores. And that's how you do an instant mass restore.